Hi everyone, my name is Samuel Hassan. I'm a computational biologist working in the pharmaceutical industry. And what I'd like to show you today is uh, if you're in a case where you have a certain number of isoforms for your human drug target, and you have a choice of animal models, how you can carry out sequence analysis using public bioinformatics software and websites um, to, uh, to determine which, which one of those is the best model. So for the case study we're going to look at today, um, I'm going to assume that my lab has access to marmosets and macaques, as you're seeing on the screen. And what I'm asking is for the human target interleukin-6 receptor alpha, which of these would be the best model? So let's get started. So the first place to start is the Uniprot uh, knowledge base, where I'm going to try and find uh, information and data about uh, IL-6 RA in human. Okay, so I've searched with the gene name, which is IL-6 RA. And here you can see a list of uh, results which match that name, and you can see the human hit is the top one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the first entry, which is human. Okay. So there's lots of information here about the protein itself, which is uh, curated from the literature. What I'm interested in at the moment is the sequences that are available uh, in human. And as you can see here, it says two sequences. Okay, so let's go see this. Okay, so there's one isoform here labeled as isoform one. Um, it's been given a, uh, uh, an identifier P0887. We're gonna change all this in a little bit, so don't worry about that. Okay, let's browse down. Um, here's isoform two, which is a, um, a splicing a variant of the first one and what you can see is that the uh, that there are two differences highlighted to isoform one so one of them is there's um, uh, uh, there's a few residues which are different in isoform two relative to the first one and there's also um, over a hundred residues which are uh, which are deleted in the second isoform okay so that's useful information to know especially if your drug target is uh, quite dependent on uh, binding to this region, which is missing in isoform two, or depends on this region for its binding. Uh, in that in that case, uh, you would be very much interested in the homology to isoform one and uh, how it's distributed in marmoset um, and crab-eating macaque. Okay. So what we're going to do now? We're going to download these two sequences. Um, I'm going to click this button called Align, which will get me both the sequences that I need. Okay, so the alignment of these two human uh, proteins is uh, generated. You now want to pull out the sequence. So I'm going to click download results. And the format that you want is not the default text. Um, it's uh, FASTA. So let's click go. Okay, so here's isoform one and two, right? So what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to open JALView, uh, which is a sequence uh, editor. Um, and you'll have um, a, a link to this tool as well as all the tools that I'm showing um, at, at the bottom of this, uh, in the links at the bottom of this video, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start gathering my sequences and uh, putting them in the software. Uh, I'm gonna use copy and paste throughout so that um, a, you don't feel that you, you have to use any programming tool, et cetera, to do the, any of this work. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this option called from text box, right? And here I've copied and pasted that sequence. Um, what, what I will want to do eventually is um, uh, rename uh, these two um, to the species name. Um, otherwise, it won't look nice when I'm trying to do my alignment and phylogenetic trees to find this difference, right? So I'll just call it human two and human one, okay? So let's paste that for now and let's go and find our uh, marmoset and macaque sequences. So let me just take this longer sequence here uh, as my search sequence. I don't need both of them. I'm now gonna go to a different website. This is the uh, BLAST uh, protein search at the NCBI website. Um, and the reason I chose this is because it does actually have the two species that I need. And I'll show you how you can find those. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy and paste uh, my one canonical uh, human sequence. That's there. 
I want to this for, for for this example. I'm just going to look through RefSeq protein, uh, which is uh, which 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 is a collection of proteins which have gone some level of curation. So um, so I should be fairly confident uh, of the hits that I get back. Okay. I'm going to choose the organisms. Um, let's try and find Marmoset first. Okay, I've searched for Marmoset, and there's a few hits here which actually match that. Um, the one that I'm interested in is the common mar marmoset. Uh, do be careful to look out for these taxon IDs, so these, these uniquely identify these species. So I can see that the co common marmoset and the white ear tufted marmoset are both um, synonyms of each other because they have the same, um, same taxon ID. And it's the same for this white ear. So all, of, all three of these actually mean the same thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of them. I'm going to pick another another one as well, which is, of course, my uh, macaque. So let's search for the macaque. So search for the macaque. And crab-eating macaque is definitely the one that I'm interested in. But as you can see again here, there's different synonyms of this same uh, organism, of the same uh, primate species, 9541. Uh, uh, so it goes by crab-eating macaque with a dash in the middle, cynomolgus, cynomolgus macaque, uh, or long-tailed macaque. They're all refer to the same organism. So let's choose this one. And down here, I definitely want to do a protein search. I want to get back the protein sequences that match the two um, human isoforms uh, that I'm searching with. Let's do a blast. Okay, so you get a nice um, report back. Um, it's showing you where these different um, conserved domains are. Uh, and I'm not going to bother going into these details too much. Let's go down because there'll be a nice table view here. Okay, so now remember what I searched with. It was the interleukin-6 receptor alpha. So what I'm looking for or expecting to find in the top hits are matches to that uh, in these two species that I was interested in. So two things you can look at. Um, so there's, there's a few things you can look at, actually. Um, so first of all, just look at the description and make sure it says IL-6 receptor alpha. So which, uh, and I can see one, two, three, uh, four, five. So the top five um, ha have this label. So I'm pretty confident that uh, we're talking about the same uh, protein. The other thing you can look here is how much of your original sequence does this match? So the total uh, query coverage, 100%, 100% um, uh, as well. Right? It matches a large part of uh, interleukin 11 receptor as well, but uh, obviously that's not the same uh, protein. Um, the E value, look at that. That's another good indicator that you picked the that you're going to pick the right proteins, uh, which is the top five here. Um, they're very much lower than the than these other E values, uh, giving you confidence that that's the one that those are the sequence that you need. So let's go ahead and get them. This is the top five, yeah, as I just said. Okay, so I've picked the top five. And I want to download the complete sequences. I'm going to align them afterwards properly to human. Okay, I'm just going to open it up with the default text editor. Doesn't look very neat, but I'm going to copy in anyway. Okay, that's not too bad. So I've copied it now back into that Jalview sequence editor uh, that you saw before. Um, I do need to rename all of these uh, correctly, or not correctly, but uh, to a simpler name that I can, that I can look at and understand when I'm looking at the phylogenetic energy tree and the alignment. Okay, so this macaque is called Isoform X2, um, as I can see here. So let's just give it a, uh, an easier name. This one is, let's just call it Makaka. Let's stay to it. This is Makaka X1. All right, so that's looking better and readable, right? Okay. So I'm going to click new window here, and this will basically open up these sequences um, in a nice 
alignment editor. There you go. Okay, so it's um, got the raw sequences here. They're not uh, aligned yet, so uh, we do need to do that. Um, and to do that, here are the steps. You go to web service, alignment. Um, there's different algorithms here you can use, um, but um, two of the popular ones for this kind of a problem is uh, muscle as well as cluster. I'm gonna go ahead and use Clustal and use defaults for this. All right, great. So it's aligned my sequences now. And what you can look at are these um, sequence plots um, at the bottom, uh, th these conservation plots at the bottom here, which give you an idea of uh, which which parts um, you know, which parts are highly conserved between human and these different um, and these two different primate species. Okay. Um, other things you can do just to make this a bit uh, nicer to, to read and understand for this problem is you, could, you might want to color by uh, percentage identity. So let's do color percentage identity. Okay. And basically, the darker the blue, the more conserved those uh, those sequences are. Okay. All right. So we managed to line the sequences. We now want to look at how these are distributed uh, as a, in a phylogenetic tree. So let's calculate that. Great, calculate Cree. Um, you can use any of these ones. I'm just going to use Blossom 62 for this. Okay. All right, so here's my sequence. Um, so here's my Cree. Um, one thing here is it's printed the, um, uh, the, the actual phylogenetic distances. Uh, maybe you can just turn that off if you don't want to look at it. So I'm just going to click on View and turn off the Show Distances button. Okay, I'm beginning to see a nice pattern here. I can see that human uh, one and marmoset one uh, are clustering together. Human two and marmoset two uh, are not too far off from each other. Now, macaca, it has a few isoforms here, um, which seem to cluster um, in almost a different area compared to human and marmoset. I think that's given me a pretty clear indication that marmoset is the species that I should be working with. So I probably want to save a copy of this report. Um, and uh, one of the tools that, I sh uh, that I'm highlighting to you in this tutorial, this is the one called PickPick, Pick, where you can just go screen capture uh, and you want your output type to just uh, copy to the clipboard. So let's do that. Um, let's just get a region uh, that, that I want. So I just want a picture of this tree to include in my report. Of this phylogenetic tree as my supporting evidence, and I would actually write that um, marmoset is the preferred species uh, because it seems to have two isoforms uh, that are related to the that are closely related to the human. Uh, IL6 